Okay, so um, let's start, shall we? Because um, it's 7.15 and uh, we've touched that threshold. So good evening, everyone. Wish you all a very happy new year. Thank you for making it to today's event. I welcome you all. Um, my name is Aravind. I am the president of SLAB, um, the Sri Lankan Accountants Association of Bahrain. Many of you, some of you are joining from all the way in North America, some from Singapore. So I'm glad you guys are coming in at 12 at night. Some, most of us are, some of us are from Sri Lanka, logging in from Sri Lanka. So really excited to have you all here. Uh, Slab, we are very excited to host Ria, uh, Ria Bansali. She's delivering our first session in 2021 and it's right on 3rd Jan. Like how soon can you host an event? Um, all of you are aware it's goal setting. Uh, personally, I prefer non-technical events, uh, mainly because, you know, it helps to understand yourself, um, you know, one, your own self, uh, your strengths, your weaknesses. So I think it's uh, definitely going to be useful for all of us um, and help us on to the technical side of things. <laughs> um, you're all familiar with the Zoom interface. Now, um, what I would ask is please raise all your questions um, through chat, um, any long detailed questions, but uh, I think Ria prefers if you were to uh, if she has an interactive session here. So you can unmute yourselves. You have that option now. And you can go ahead and ask all your questions through uh, directly through the speaker. Um, we have a Q&A session at the end, like what I've mentioned. Um, other than that, let's get to it. Let's uh, start. I'm going to mute, unmute myself and I'll t let Ria take over from here. Thank you. Thank you, Arvind. Uh, good evening and happy new year to all of you. Uh, it's so nice to see actually different parts of the world. People are logging in for this. Uh, I feel really special. Um, and uh, goal setting is my personal um, favorite topic because uh, I'm very big on resolutions. I'm very big on um, the, you know, the way we actually um, work and goals and things like that. And as a coach, I also work with people to go very minute into details and since it's a hot topic i thought you know we should be discussing this today so um if you would like um, most of my sessions have uh, the videos on but it's okay if you're un um, not comfortable with that you can always unmute because um i believe all of us are experienced here uh, accountants here so our goal settings have worked but um in the chat box or by unmuting yourself, I would really like to hear from you what has not worked or what has drawn you to this session. Because um, I might go in a particular way, but that has already, maybe that issue has already been solved by most of you. So I want to pick up issues which you are facing currently so that this session is more interactive and more catered and in a way personalized. So if anyone would like to start maybe texting, raising a chat, or um, even unmute yourself and let me know like what has brought you here what exactly in goal setting are you lacking can i go first yes yes uh procrastination setting goals okay. to beat that okay that, that's uh, a very common one uh, i would like to at least hear maybe two or three more i like to learn every day but uh Mr. Kai, I don't think that's a problem. Uh, that, that's actually a motivation. What, what, what's stopping you from learning every day is what I would like to know. So uh, if you tell me that, it would make more sense to help in um, realizing and, you know, combating that issue. All right. I don't think we have any more chats, do we? Yes, Mr. Farhans. I, I like the way you call Kai, Kai and me, Mr. Farhas. Is it my hair? <laughs> no, I can't see your hair actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sticking to routine, not wanting to do anything new. Okay. Not wanting to do anything new. All right. So is it that um, you've written something and then you not want to do it? Is it that? Uh, no, not not writing it in the first place. Not writing it in the first place. Okay. 
and uh, i've seen other people saying how to keep track of important goals that's a very good one we're going to be discussing that nothing but different people have different approaches so that's it okay stuck in a loophole of sorrow guilt feel this is a big one we write goals and we kind of forget about it and when we don't do it procrastination brings in the guilt feeling all right any more i'll just take one more if it comes otherwise i will begin uh right stuck in a okay i think uh, those are the comments thank you so much i think uh, most of us are facing that so how we begin any goal setting um is number one that i want you to understand is it's either borrowed okay or it's inspired internally so a uh, goals have a lot to do with the emotions and so is their accomplishment uh, hi i think somebody is not on mute all right so goals have a lot to do with emotions and uh, as coaches what we work is not only what you've written like you know about fitness or about wealth or your financial goals but we also focus a lot on how you are feeling at that moment is it something that you know your friends have inspired you to do it or have you heard it somewhere or you've seen your role models do it and has it come from inside or maybe is it a pain area like uh, for most of the families who are not well to do it's a pain area for them that they have to go through searching for daily meals and that's their motivator so for goal setting firstly we have to identify after classifying of course whether this is an internal goal something that you wanted to do for a very long time and you're not able to accomplish it or sometimes most of the goals are okay most of my friends are doing this so even i should do it so a classic example for one of my client was um, he wanted to do scuba diving and he's like i'm not able to do it i'm not able to do it and although it doesn't seem like a big problem does it like it's just scuba diving do it or don't do it doesn't matter but it was really bothering him and he's like i'm not able to do it because my friends are doing it so this was a derived goal and then when you understand he was actually scared of water but his fear the peer pressure was so much that he wanted to set a goal according to his peer pressure though it was not his personal goal so these are very small examples that i'll try to keep drawing um to show you that sometimes it can be an outside goal and you feel it's your fault that you're not able to do it but all you have to do is let go so for most of you uh, can i just ask have you already set your goals and you've come and you're facing a trouble or you thought you would do it after this workshop you can maybe just chat or just unmute yourself and then uh, let me know where is, what is the status right now after this workshop all right i have a lot of uh, pressure okay mr manmohan manju manohan all right what about the others i agree okay arvind is also okay this is about we should have had this on 31st december then um all right after the workshop all right most of you are waiting for the workshop so do you have a pen and papers with you or your notepads with you or you're just waiting for guidelines because if you want we can actually um kind of work on maybe one or two aspects right now guidelines you're waiting for guidelines so if some of you want please grab a pen and a paper right now and we i will actually demonstrate how to do how to set one goal you don't have to go for all of them today but just take one and we'll discuss in depth because there are so many aspects to a goal rather than just writing it down so uh, for all those who are writing it down please just comment yes so i know um, i can take immediate feedbacks from you okay that's great all right All right. Uh, I would also request, please don't use your phones or any electronic devices for writing goals. Why? I will tell you shortly. A pen and a paper, or a pencil and a paper, is the best way to go about it. So I just maybe give thirty seconds. Uh, shouldn't be that difficult. Maybe you're already in an area where you can access those things. Hmm. All right. I would expect few more yeses. Come on. It's so getting the guidelines is one, but actually practicing it, putting it to use right now, um, would be even more beneficial. So I really urge everyone to participate. 
uh, we'll just stick to one goal uh, and you can take it at any area that you want. Uh, you don't even have to disclose it. You don't have to discuss it with me. Nothing at all. Um, Mr. Priyanka is also here. Mr. Fergie, Mr. Murad, great. So uh, you don't have to disclose it to anyone if that's one of your fear. Please just grab a pen and a paper and we'll start. Uh, I can give 30 more seconds. My clock. Please avoid any gadget use unless you're traveling or you're maybe in your train or set. Another 10 more seconds. For those of you who already have your pen and paper, please start thinking of one goal and write it down. You don't have... Miss Manju, I'm so sorry. Sorry for that. Um, so, if you already have your pen and paper, please write one. Just one. Okay? It can be very small from um, trying a new look to a very big goal uh, related to fitness or your health or your relationship. Pick one. So I'm giving, I'm going to time you for a minute and then you can start. I mean, you can finish by then. Make sure this is one of the goal which is really something that you wanted to accomplish for a long time. For those of you who are still grabbing pen and papers, um, please go ahead. You still have 40 seconds. Make sure it's short. Okay. So if you have any doubts related to that, you can ask me in a very indirect way. You don't have to disclose it. But 20 more seconds. If you've already written it, please just read it three times loudly. Since all of you are on mute, it won't really matter. All right. We're going for five, four, Three, two, and let's, let's stop. All right. I think most of you have it. Great. Now, um, so we're going to work with only one. Okay. And, and over a period of time, uh, what me and Arvind probably spoke was of a workshop, if you all are interested in January, because uh, believe it or not, 90% of the resolutions or the goals, as we say, get... Um, get into the dustbin by February. So January is really the month that I wanted to target. And we were actually discussing about this workshop to be in uh, in the second week or third week, Karen. And then I pushed him to kind of hold it today. I was like, no, it has to be at the start of the year. It has to be at the start. We can't delay it more than that. So uh, taking this opportunity, we're going to work on one goal. But I'm going to tell you different aspects about this goal. And you can either work... Uh, similarly on most of the goals that you're going to lay down after this workshop and uh, after the seminar or uh, if you are interested in a workshop we could even hold a workshop only for slack not for anyone else so let's see how it goes all right i'm assuming uh, uh, i'm going ahead everyone has one goal now what happens is you have to i'm going to give you some vague examples of goals and some clear examples of goals are as accountants especially why only for slab? Uh, because, okay, we can open it up. Uh, I don't mind because I thought it should be an exclusive thing. Uh, for Bahrain chapter of Chartered Accountants, we do something exclusively for members so that, you know, the exclusivity uh, stands out. So I thought slab would also work on the same lines, but I'm okay to um, make everyone a part of it. So uh, let's move forward then. Now, I'm going to give you an example of a clear goal versus an ambiguous goal all right so um a clear goal and i'll tell you why most of the people fail towards it is it's very difficult to quantify certain things i'm going to go with a very classic example for most of accountants who would uh, face this especially during audit times and you know you have busy seasons coming in and coming out so you always say, I want a good time with my family. I want more time with my family. Now, when you have goals like this, your brain doesn't know how it's working. What is more? Three hours is more or two hours is more? For me, half an hour is more than enough. For you, five hours might not be more than enough. 
so always it's necessary to quantify most of the goals that we do not we're not able to achieve is because they're not able to quantify it please check in the goals that you've written have you quantified your goal please write yes or no all right if you have it please take the step to quantify it. if it is um that's good i'm seeing so many uh, responses it's so nice to see keep going keep going yes i want i want responses only if i know what's happening in your books i can guide you this is not my goal setting it's your goal setting session how to quantify a goal that could potentially take about one year to accomplish um can you are you comfortable disclosing that goal to me privately or uh you know given abstract information about what it is okay what if a goal is about to complete something would it be how much time would you put towards it daily together yes that's uh abby that's right uh that would be it now if you know you're studying for cfa for example so your attempt would be june or december and then you work backwards toward it and then you you divide it by 5 and then you go week wise and that would be how you quantify your goal and target finish date set up my own business um uh, okay it could be uh it could be things like uh, health okay like fitness okay let me give you my example i could want to create a new course i could want to uh have my own um, fitness gym or things like that all right so what can happen is in that course these things you have to again write down see having my own course okay suppose i want to create an educational course around it what do you want to create break it down okay by when do you want to see it like somebody said uh the target finish date okay now it can be a very big goal suppose i want to have my own gym center that's a very big goal but what step do you want to accomplish in this year do you see this uh goal that you want a gym in one year or in two years or in five years in your head you could already have a planning of five years but you're overburdening yourself by saying that i want to just have a gym so you don't go by that you say okay i just want to identify a location by june then you go and you say that i want to hire instructors by december then you go and say i want to you make a deadline or you quantify and say that i'll put in 2 hours every week to search for a new location or things like that so please are you able to quantify it now please let me know yes or no for those of you who are answered no has it come to a yes that's more important yes slightly yes please go very specific the more clearer you are the more likely you are able to measure your goals we all have studied risk mitigation right in a, uh, in financial management i don't know if uh, the sri lankan board is the same or no but in the indian chartered accountants uh, we always go by risk management you quantify it and then you review it and then um you take mitigation actions now the thing is if you don't quantify it you'll not be able to review it because you don't know how far you are from the goal so what are you going to mitigate all right in in simple terms is there anyone who is needing help more to go towards becoming more clearer i need to help you out now another if you have something please you need more help suji does anyone need more help or can we go to the next step so quantification number 1 everyone up with me any any doubt if only anybody has a doubt please say me just type me do you have a doubt type me all right i think okay okay so uh, it could be 
Okay, I'm getting a response. All right, you need help. But that is uh, whatever you have sent it to me. Some uh, the person would know. Uh, that's not a quantifiable goal. right so you have to i'll tell you what you can do instead this is not a goal setting it's a target um that's a different area i will address that to you in person uh, you can just message me probably after after this workshop is over i'll send you my email address all right now okay everyone done now let's move forward number 2 you have to attach an emotion to it okay if your goal is just uh, let's say i'm going to take fitness okay because i'm into yoga as well so i'm going to say i want to become 60 kg by the end um okay see so my weight goal would have been i want to lose weight quantifying it makes it i want to become 60 kg by the end of 2021 everyone with me just show me a thumbs up or there's a clap or something like that right okay because i need to know if you guys are following it everyone's screen is Okay, we're following. Okay. Thank you, Amir. Now, so so from losing weight, I come to becoming sixty kgs. That is quantifying. Now, attach an emotion to it. It's really important to attach an emotion, and you will not even believe how much it works. Because this is when it shows it is it's actually your goal or it's a borrowed goal. So I will become sixty kgs by the end of twenty twenty one, and that will make me. happy or that will make me stronger or that will make me fit identify the emotion that you have behind the goal most of you may not have because even i was not taught to do this goal setting was only like you know dhara dhara you keep writing all the goals that you have financial and everything uh, attach an emotion to your goal right now if you've done it comment yes I think I will just time it, okay? So that nobody overdoes it. I'm giving you two minutes for this because it could be. If you have written it, which I can see, yes, read it three times, loudly. Okay. Uh, how to find it? Uh, this is a very good question. How to attach emotion to look for a gym location? Now, if you can't, um, if you have a specific, okay, if I want to find a gym in, in you know, in Mahus, how would I feel? Go with that. Or if I would have a gym in Sakir, how would I feel? Or if I would have a gym in Aldar Island, how would I feel? Just close your eyes, visualize, and try to look at your gym from a different, from a far away angle. when you do that there is a subtle emotion a certain spark in your eyes that you will see okay just try to be with that for 2 minutes which is why i gave you 2 minutes just close your eyes and feel it would you feel proud of yourself would you feel um, the people will appreciate you would you feel happy would you feel that it's accessible by most people and you're helping others what would you feel just dive and ask yourself this question 2 to 3 times you will get the answer We have fifty seconds to go. Please try to really work along with uh, the group. I think it will be so beneficial because um, I'm kind of trying to personalize this here instead of just giving you a template uh, to do what what can be done. A lot of templates you'll find online. um we just try to work with one so you know how to work with the rest 15 seconds to go all right time's up i hope all of you are with me or will catch up whenever you get the time now the next is a uh, visualization okay so i want you to really close your eyes now and imagine let's 
uh, keep the example as looking for a location for my gym. All right. So I'm going to just close my eyes. Whatever your goal is, start to play a movie in your head. Okay. Start to play a movie as if it is already accomplished, and you're looking at that end goal. You're either looking at yourself if it's fitness related, or it's a job related, or um, it's any position that you want. or uh, if it's something external like uh, you know buying a house look at the house if it's buying an office look at your office and play this video in your head like a, dramatize it as much as you want five times in your head i'm giving you all 3 minutes to work with this try to relax your body and really be with your goal Don't try to rush your goal. and now with your eyes closed just try to really feel in your body where are you feeling that emotion that you've written down before is it in your head is it in your chest stomach your entire body if you're visualizing there is a strong emotion in your body try to feel where it is go deep down into the emotion slowly you can open your eyes and now in the chat box i want an answer that was this successful for you number 1 yes or no full stop where did you feel the emotion if you did you can fe- even feel it in your palms your hands your legs anywhere That's so nice, Miss Manju. Sleep, very nice. I hope you're not holding yourself guilty for not accomplishing your goal. I felt it in the center of my head. Go ahead. I'm expecting at least two, three answers. If you didn't feel it, you can even say you didn't feel it. Please be honest. It's not a competition. Good. 
chest is a very popular one because it changes your breath. So, if you've realized, we are actually talking about goals, but lately I've dived a lot into emotion. So, any idea why I'm doing that and I'm focusing so much on the emotion behind what you've written? Any one answer? I'll, ju uh, I'll just give out the answer since it might. Uh, fingers, very good. Memory connection. Okay, possibly. We are 20 30 percent of we are emotional beings. Yes, we are emotional beings. I'll explain this uh, quickly because we have a lot of content to go through. Um, motivation, yes. So there are two things which drive can drive humans, okay? Pain or pleasure. Very simple, okay? And more than intellectual beings, humans are emotional beings. Like pointed out by Mr. Vivekanand. Vivekanand. I'm sorry if I'm getting the names wrong. So we work mostly with our emotions and emotions can drive us to go to any extent. The emotion of revenge is very strong than the, your intellect, your emotion of pain, which is something really can motivate you way more than anything else. Right. So please understand either it's pain or either it's pleasure for every individual. It can, it can change. What is the motivating factor? For some people, some people like the revenge attitude or the pain attitude, you know, they felt something in, traumatic in their childhood and they don't want to go through the same thing. So they work hard to accomplish it. For some people, it's just the absolute pleasure of uh, having luxury, which motivates them. So you have to, of course, identify for yourself which motivates you, pain or pleasure. And of course, you all have a successful accounting. So you already know because you succeeded, which one has worked for you. Okay, was it pain and pleasure? Now, what we are trying to do, and the question which should, um, which I want to answer, why did I ask you not to specifically use your uh, technology, uh, your note, uh, your notes, or um, your iPads? That's because when you're writing your goal, because you are writing it, your eyes are engaged, your brain is engaged, your motory senses are engaged. And somehow you're, you're taking and believing it. So when you're writing, you're literally believing your goal. And that's the first step. You're owning the goal. As compared to only one swipe, your brain doesn't know it. it, it it's actually, it takes lesser time for us to text than to write, right? I hope most of you agree to me. Um, so what happens in this case is when you're writing and you're seeing it and a lot of the receptors are working towards it the goal is becoming a part of you but that does not happen in the technologies that we use which is okay i'll tell you also how to use technologies to our advantage they're not a disadvantage it's just that to ingrain that belief in you you have to work towards making your goal yourself your goal is not an external factor it is a part of you I hope most of you are getting me. Um, so we're trying to ingrain it within you as habits. And only once it becomes a part of you, it becomes very effortless. Now, if you agree, if something is effortless, you tend to do it more often. Like going to a party is effortless. Eating cheesy nachos is effortless. But staying on the no salt diet is a lot of effort. So we run away from it, right? So we're trying to make these goals effortless. Whatever you all decide, we have like 40, 70 people. I don't know how many people today. Everyone will have different goals. Everyone will have different goals. Okay. And we cannot specify as to what will work for Arvind will work for me or uh, somebody else. But what will work is the emotion. So in this because this is not only a goal setting, this is a life coaching technique which is combined into your goal setting. And which is why I wanted it to make it a part of you. I hope you all agree. So focusing whenever you are goal setting. Okay, now let me go through the actual goal setting, goal setting workshop. 
please do write your goals into thanks to this manju really helpful that i'm getting comments from you um of course very simple you'll get these templates online also okay you can divide it into financial relationship personal uh professional creative if you're a creative person uh and there could be thousands of other goals okay, for you um for me spiritual is a big goal for me uh, self development is a big goal and relationships is a very big goal um giving back to the society is a big goal for you um a profession could be a big goal or you could have similar goals like fitness could be a big goal so you have to categorize as many categories if you want you want 100 categories you can have 100 categories all right there is no restriction on that you will work very differently from what i will work as but you just have to make sure the biggest mistake that people do okay okay uh, what according to you is the biggest mistake that you have done while goal setting and then i'll tell you what is the common phenomenon i am excited to know this answer what according to you you have done the biggest mistake or you you think that you know people do a biggest bigger mistake in um goal setting i'm waiting for some overshooting setting bar really really high okay okay i'll give you a hint it has something to do with time hint is it has something to do with time setting more than one goal at a time okay shorter time okay taking uh, on to of profit money uh, you can even I'm speak up please speak up also yeah. i am then happy to like, uh, for example if we talk ahead uh, yes. can i share yeah. yes yes please yeah if it is related to health for example uh, regular regularly going for the exercise uh, okay. we continue i continue for some time then uh, after that i stopped for one no other reason but the problem is here when i am doing i am not uh, appreciating myself that i have done this then uh, okay. again, when i am missing i am not uh, uh, pushing myself yes this is your commitment that uh, you have to fulfill so both side there is a lack one side is a uh, motivating myself or appreciating myself when i am doing and when i am not doing i am not taking it seriously these two okay yeah yeah all right thank you thank you so much for coming i went telling um it's i really like people who come not prioritizing okay can i tell you the biggest mistake that people do is they set up goals in one day and in one sitting your goal setting really minimum needs to take 7 days of your thinking please understand you're planning 365 days of your life and you're planning to take it in one direction you really think by jotting 8 9 goals in 30 minutes is going to take your life in a direction you're planning 365 days into 60 into 24 hours those many hours and you're planning to give it only 30 minutes of uh, just writing uh, what i want to become thin and i want to become beautiful and i want to look like hrithik roshan and all of that do you really think that's going to work has, has that even occurred like that has not even occurred to most of the people all these all the gyan that we get on social media and by influencers they take months and months to plan and the planning is continuous you yourself would all be into audits at some point of time or some sort of a financial planning you know the balance sheets and the pnls are not formed or the budgets take months to form we don't form budgets in a day or in an hour right so how are you planning your life and your career and your wealth and your relationships when we're not able to one aspect of our job takes a month to plan for the next year we as human beings have at least 6 to 7 aspects running parallelly so please please give it at least 7 days okay and i don't mean 7 full days into 24 hours 
I mean, seven, even one hour, whatever you think. You see, you have to really keep in mind that, that it's 365 days of your life. How much do you think that deserves? And then go backwards. For me, I think, because also I'm in a practice, uh, I do it quite often. Number one. And number two, I also, uh, I'm in a habit of it, right? So I think uh, it's easier for me, but it might not be easier for you. So please write to me right now. You can even send me a private message. How much time for the next seven days are you going to use for planning? Because until you don't write it down, it's just something that I've spoken in the air and something that you've heard and you've appreciated and applauded. But nothing will come out of it. Action is the most important in the goal setting. Send it to me as a private message here so that nobody reads it. I'm not going to read it aloud. Okay. So, but I want it in writing for at least those who have been participating for, um, in chat. I want at least five, six answers to come up. Succeeded wise. Great. I've received one answer. I've succeeded wise during goal setting in a single hour. Where right? not keep the consistency on delivery. But perhaps one of that's good. That's good. And I'll tell you which aspect of that takes time. A lot of you are messaging me. The time. That's great. I'll tell you what to do in that time. I hope those who are not uh, texting, uh, who are not chatting, are uh, at least uh, making these notes and are uh, kind of working with us for this workshop because otherwise it's just jibber jabber that's happening. Please, one more answer. Come on. I think there are a lot of people participating. Um, I think these self development courses are something which, uh, you know, it motivates something in you to stand up, speak up. If they want to get to exceptional, it's up to them to, um, yes. to speak up. Uh, if they're muting their phones and watching the late evening news, then, you know, that's their fault. I mean, I'm just yeah. glad we have 42 and this many participants active participants i mean i see a lot of names which are consistent um i'm right. happy for that i'm happy i could uh, I'm, I'm i hope i'm making sense to most of them and contribute uh, by the end of the session you should feel a little satisfied that you spend at least i think two hours with me yes so uh, all right a lot of you have one second i've got one more message all right i have received answers so thank you so much for those who have committed uh, see, it does not have to be an hour. It does not have to be two hours. It, does, it can even be 15 minutes. But what I want you to do is, you can write those seven, eight things that you've been doing. That's not the wrong step. Okay, That's the first very important primary set that you first identify uh, the slabs, relationship, personal, blah, 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 blah. And then write inside the sub things that you want. Like maybe I want, uh, uh, I write fitness. Uh, and then I want two things in it. I want to also get leaner. I also want to, uh, I also take vitamins. Maybe that's also a fitness related goal that I have because that has to do with strength. Okay. So you might have under one heading, you might have like two, three or very classic example relationship. Your relationship with your parents could be one goal, your relationship with your spouse or, uh, other loved ones. Uh, you know, there will be several, several subcategories. I, I mean, uh, that's not a thing that I need to elaborate on. Alright, that's uh, great. Okay, but do you, when you're planning 365 days of your life, just don't go with only one aspect of your life. You may succeed in one. Uh, very commonly, that is work for all of us. Uh, so that's good. But is that making you happy or do you think there are other areas of your life um, which also need attention and also need balancing and also needs maybe not attention now, but you know, maybe learning could be one of the things that you want to prioritize. So what is it that you're lacking? The things that you're achieving is already good. We're not focusing on that today. We're focusing on something that you've not achieved so that I can help you improve on that. But that's great. Congratulations to the person who messaged me. Yes, balancing personal profession. That's a very common one. That's much needed also by all of us. So 
Great. Next, we are going to go with value aligning. Okay, uh, aligning your values with your goals. Now, what happens is, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm going to take only fitness related examples, but I'm sure uh, you will find your creativity in other areas. It could be to gain weight. A lot of people have that. Now, to gain weight, some people, some gym instructors or other instructors might recommend you a non-vegetarian diet. But being a vegetarian is that aligning with yourself. Or uh, let's say take a work-related example. You want to become a CEO of a company or a CFO of a company, but that requires, um, of course, let's just say uh, a typical example: number of hours from you. But that's affecting your family life. So is that a value alignment or no? Because one goal is disturbing the other. Very, very important point that you must take a note of: aligning your goals with each other. in singular sense all of them will make sense but in collectively is one contradicting the other okay is relationship affecting the work or the career or learning or the self development is coming in the place of relationships you have to first you've taken all your goals singly now please take it collectively once if one is clashing with the other internally you will have constant conflicts clear cut and that's going to end up making you feel guilty procrastination you'll not want to do it because your body already knows you're not supposed to do it because the other goal is holding you back to achieve one the other one will be destroyed please look at maybe uh, because we've written only one there'll not be any conflicting ones but maybe you can just close your eyes and uh, just imagine previously whenever you've tried to do have you ever realized any conflicting goals within um within themselves which are conflicting and you know it will not happen but yet you write it for the heck of it so that's a very important time, uh, thing i just want everyone to reflect on this for a minute although we've written down only one goal just think about your past goals why you've not achieved them was this one of the reason and only you can answer this to yourself because we're not sharing anything personal so Just take one minute. I'm going to time it. Close your eyes. Closing your eyes really gives you a disconnect, a very good disconnect, and I highly recommend you use that. it could be a clear cut no also let's the community thing but the, often as coaches we do observe these conflicting areas affecting people knowingly we ignore a lot of things it's just an area that you need to just check on maybe not today maybe after 5 years you're going through this and maybe this is the point that all right i see one more message it's great All right, time's up. Was this all okay for everyone? Just say okay. Hmm. So, uh, uh, the editing and time management, or uh, I cannot have, hear you. No, we have several calls. For example, mm -hmm. then uh, why the conflict come because of the time management and prior prioritizing the goals or. uh we somewhere we don't focus suddenly we focus everything one time because of that the conflict is coming the conflict could come uh, from for uh, several things actually it could come because one goal uh, okay i'll give you my example last year uh when i was working i also wanted to open additional yoga classes and uh, i because my work was so hectic i also wanted to relax so i needed to put out like these publications and things like that to make the marketing material but my body just didn't allow it and i was feeling guilty for it for several months i was like i'm not able to do it i'm not able to do it and ultimately you give your give, you give yourself the reason that i don't have enough time but internally it's actually because it's conflicting with the other goal that i want to relax and i want to chill and i just want to have like a normal life and i want to sleep like till 10 o'clock so 
these subtle things do you realize this is not a big thing i just wanted to relax i just wanted to relax my body rather than take up more work so internally you are going to feel very guilty now coming to your question why does this happen number one our priorities for for a lot of people could be i want to do this also and i want to do that also and i want to do that but we have to also keep in fact uh, keep in mind the fact that we have limited time and number one limited energy okay a lot of people don't take into account energy management they take into account only time management 24 hours you have and i have but can you work for 24 hours no right sometimes even like a 4 hour job could be so hectic that it takes away 24 hours and sometimes a 18 hour job is so easy that you know you can work for 24 hours so also take into account your own personal energy your own personal time management mental energy is the most draining correct so your mental energy will also take your space and sometimes what happens is i'll tell you um this could be poor planning number one okay uh, it could also be you think you can make your budget files in one hour but like even the fastest person in the world takes 3 hours to do it so you are overshooting okay so you have to set realistic time goals not in the realistic in the sense uh you know that that doesn't excite you in terms of is it really possible giving your skill set and your time that's it mostly it's a uh, prioritization with what you want and that's why emotion will come into play a lot i'll tell you the 30 minutes okay let's get into this um can i'm connecting the two the time why did i say 7 days and why did i say how much time you think you need most of you said that you've achieved one or two goals even by setting one or two hours right because you're focusing only on one aspect of your life but are the other aspects of your life suffering please measure that okay if one is hit one is one is great you're not going to experience overall happiness i hope i'm making sense if if you become the ceo of a company but at the same time you don't have time for your family or your kids or to travel you don't have time to travel you're not going to experience that happiness um and like my favorite coach tony robbins says success without accomplishment is the ultimate failure so you have to keep things in balance and check on the most which is of course priority and i mean this is deep okay i'm just trying to give you a glimpse and uh, hopefully maybe we can discuss it in the workshop over uh, over january um and then see how how we can build on each of them but the next one is of course review how often do you think you should review it let me see what's the most popular answer assuming your goals are all set they're not contradicting you have the perfect values in place Okay, I got one answer. What is constant? Quantify constant, please. I got one one very good answer. Very good, very good. All right. Um, most of your routine you and talking from the same. Very nice. Uh, one of the answers which I received was daily for the first few weeks. If you are very comparatively very new to goal setting, um. actually it's not about that i review my goals every day uh if you consistently uh what do you say if you're new to it i would highly recommend you go weekly at least okay uh or even daily actually for the first month uh to really get into your system and to make it a part of you for the first month all you have to do is read it you don't have to sit over it and all of that and it barely takes a minute here is where we'll use our technology to make notes whenever you're standing in a queue or in a traffic light read 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 and what lack uh, okay you're lacking on this aspect so what you have to do is uh, once your goals are finalized you've given it 7 days you have the emotion attached to it read it as often as you can and now i'll also tell you 
how, how you're going to do it. For some people who message me saying that, you know, their goal is not quantifiable. It's very important uh, that you first quantify it. Why? If I have a target of losing um, uh, 10 kgs in a year, okay, and I give a target of, uh, then I divide it over 12 months. And then not only divided by 12 months, after dividing that, divided by four weeks. Go to the minutest detail possible. If having enough time with family means uh, two hours a day or two hours a week or two hours two times in a day, what do you mean by that? Only when you quantify it, your mind has a clear picture. Oh, if I have to spend two hours with my uh, spouse, which means I need to maybe shift my meeting here or there so that I can make it on this day. And then I can, you know, probably have my extra course that I can study for my further education and things like that. Now I have a question. What do goals come to mind? How do I prioritize and wait? Okay. Lot of goals will come first. Uh, you have to, again, uh, decide on the emotion. Somebody has asked me how to prioritize goals, which I will come on later. But just a quick answer because I don't want you to uh, go very disheartened. Um, write down all your goals in one line. Okay, and then number them. It's the simplest technique. And then what you have to do is close your eyes and then see if you want to take one goal on top of the other. I don't know how to explain it now because it's uh, we're going very quick. But you just have to feel losing which goal will make you more upset or angry or gaining which goal will make you more happier. So it's a very relative thing that you have to do and sit and do it yourself. So that's how you prioritize. Now, moving on, reviewing. Uh, take the phone notes, keep reading it. And once you have it to the minutest detail, then you plan your week according to that. Once you've planned your week around that, even if you achieve 90%, 85 to 90%, you feel so relaxed and accomplished. And that's how you feel that, oh, these goals are working for me. Of course, um, I'm goal is obsessed. I really like to keep a track uh, of my goals. I have a diary which I carry every day, everywhere with me. Uh, I don't believe in too much phone uses because, you know, we're on the screens all the time. That's a personal thing. You could be a completely techie guy. Uh, up to you. But the more you keep reminding yourself that, you know, there are goals which could interest me or which could not interest me and things like that, um, is more likely that you're going to accomplish it. So that I cannot force you to take it every day or every week. Then you know what happens? But I'll tell you one interesting thing, why I get a kick out of seeing my own goals. Because the more you accomplish it, you're like, I have fun in scribbling on my goals. I, I'm a very messy person on, on paper. So when I, I achieve something, I like really scratch it out. And um, uh, I really have fun like a kid, uh, well, really taking it up because you know, it's like an achievement for me. Um, so that's what I enjoy, but that's completely up to you. How often you want to review it? First month, I would definitely say every day, just read it. And um, it'll, you see so much of difference within your habits itself. We're going to move to habits. Any questions to now, please? I'm going to, I don't like to take the questions later. So anything about not a question, but just a comment, um, you know, so far what uh, I think I realize is like from the start till now, and we are almost an hour into it, like the original goal has been cut and scratched and changed so much. Uh, but this is good. But this is good because uh, I think this comes to the fact where you need to spend that quality time and go into advanced workshops, um, you know, when you need to spend um, you know, to break down those goals and not just whatever comes to your head, you just drop it in the, you know, you write it down or something. You just need to constantly reflect. Completely. And sometimes our goals are, uh, it looks something else, but actually when you feel it, it's something else. So you have to really dive deep, dive deep into your own thoughts rather than writing goals as to, you know, what, uh, what is shown to us on TV, uh, that they show just the tip of the iceberg. Nobody tells you that, you know, there's a lot of work with goals and goal setting. And 
to remove the obstacles it's not only about doing the work it's also about removing the obstacles that you internally are feeling and that's what as coaches we do um you have to feel very effortless in your goal this is not some task that you're taking on okay you should not feel irritated while doing it to feel happy you should feel motivated like you're going for a movie like that's how you should accomplish a goal because it's taking you to the next level of your life right so um goal setting is fun like uh, let's not make it a very monotonous um, like you know how they show in movies and things like that it can be fun it is fun and we will actually uh, try to have fun in the workshops if, in case we do uh oh, yeah absolutely <laughs> Yeah, anyone having wanting to share any experience like Arvind has just, I would love to hear um, from anyone. Maybe one or two more. Not sure. More. Okay. Let's just move ahead. All right. Next is accountability partner. May I add to your statement? Um, I yes, think uh, when you mentioned about vis vis sorry visualization. um i think that's very important that's what uh, i've used so far um every time i um, i remember i wrote down that i set one hour goals uh, yes. it's a quick mind level decision but i think when it comes to visualization i i actually use that um to set that and to make sure that it's you know consistently followed because in the back of your mind it's always playing that picture of what your yes. goal is absolutely and that's what makes a uh, goal stronger and uh, you're again attaching more emotion to it yeah okay yeah. so next uh, let's move to accountability partner any idea what this person could do in your life the name says it all but let's just try to have some fun on it Uh, yes. Yes, I, I think you are busy. You coming online and like talking, <laughs> spouse? Okay. Maybe a close friend of whom you trust. Uh, you can share your goals and. Okay. Ask whether you are progressing or something like that. Maybe All right. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you. i i got one right answer only now it is someone who pushes you all right most often we do the mistake of telling our goals to our family how many people have done that and how many how many people have been laughed on after you've discussed your goals say yes <laughs> How many have discussed? Yes. See, 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 see. <laughs> that's that's a lot. <laughs> I, I swear, <laughs> like everyone, like it's it's surprising, but yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's this. But um, uh, our family has been very supportive, like immediate family, extended family. Uh, I think it's a blessing. Yeah. Um, but I see what I see what everyone is pointing out. Yeah. Uh -huh. I oh my god this question is a big hit. Mm hmm. Hmm. See 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 I'm getting some of the real answers now. This is absolutely one of the biggest pain point that I'm sure everyone has gone through. Um but, but let's take it as a learning. let's take it as a learning and not as a, something negative your accountability partner somebody is who's going to keep checking on you but one important thing without judging you that's it mostly this person will not be family for most of the cases okay try to keep this person very neutral in your life you can see from a third third eyes point of view whether what you're doing is needs redirection or needs rework or something like that just think about it for a moment take your own time see
I'm sure most of the responses um, you would have gone deep down into what you're feeling. My intention was not that, uh, but um, it's it's a good realization and uh, something I really point out. Two of the main things that my workshops uh, bring about realization is number one, we take too short a time to plan our goals, and second is the accountability partner. For most of the cases, should not be the family. It could be coaches like me. It could be somebody external, completely like you know. Sometimes people find it uh, easier to talk to strangers, right? Because that person has nothing to do with your life, and you can just throw out uh, all that you're feeling, and you know that's not going to come to you somehow. So um, maybe just find a person like that, and maybe if we have a workshop, one thing that I really want to implement in that is a buddy system, which um, I think a lot of MNCs also have it. Um, Yes, it could be your. Uh, I'm getting an interesting answer. Yes, yes, yes. It could absolutely be uh, somebody who's your superior, um, who's your inspiration, who is very cool. But you have to identify that this person, like I said, he pushes you. He or she pushes you, but does not judge you. Like in Arvind's case, it could also be family. Okay, be very supportive and things like that. But you have to decide for yourself. If, if because of your accountability partner who you think your accountability partner you end up changing your goal please realize that's the biggest red flag and that that person is not your accountability partner as simple as that just take a minute to reflect on this and also try to write down who could be your accountability partners who you, who you can you know like really discuss your goals with or maybe not even discuss your goals just tell you know just bounce your ideas with like a plain wall. Right at the start, you mentioned that, you know, most of the goals are either borrowed or they're internal. Yes. When it comes to borrowed goals, it's fine. You, you see an example in front of you and then you, you try to mimic or you copy that goal, right? But there are certain goals which are internal. You have no idea where that thought arises from. You have that yes. goal which comes into your mind. And then, you know, um, the best thing you can do is share it with someone who's close to you. Yes. It, might be, it might be private. It might feel comfortable to share. So where does that stand, right? When it comes as an internal goal, sharing it with someone who you trust and stuff like that, where does it stand? Especially when you're in the growing ages, like when you're in your teens and even, even up to 30, half of the goals which I set just got struck off the list. Yes. You know, See, things so to do before you're 30. <laughs> so the thing with borrowed goals is it will not last. Okay. Most of the times, if it's, uh, suppose you are opening your company and I'm an ISA, oh my God, uh, he's my best friend. Uh, you know, I want to open my own company. But that zeal doesn't come from within. So most of the borrowed goals, do, goals don't last. That's number one. Uh, unless it's a very short thing, like you know, scuba diving or uh, other related things. Um, but a long-term borrowed goal will not last in most of the cases until you've really like gone way to change your personality and things like that. Coming to your question, uh, if I understood it right, it's, uh, it's how, uh, if it's not an internal, how do you check with your accountability partner and you go, to someone who's really close. Yeah, it's how do you identify? Goal, right? Yeah. So, uh, uh, the borrowed goal and the internal goal is only to make you realize that if the goal is not happening and if it's borrowed, it's natural that it doesn't happen. So, you don't feel guilty about it or don't consider yourself as a loser or don't consider yourself as a procrastinator. It's natural that your borrowed goal will not happen. So, you let it go. That's why I say you let a borrowed goal go and pass through and you kind of accept that this was not mine anyway. Like, you know, I don't have to feel guilty or have any emotions attached to it. Um, your accountability partner, mostly, most of the cases, should not be your family. Uh, should be any other person. Like um, I myself have high... Uh, so the best part about coaching is coaches also need coaches. Okay, so it's like a cycle. Uh, so I also have my coaches where I bounce my ideas off um, and uh, I know they're not going to judge me for you know any weird thing that I say and then I change it later because 
uh, your accountability partner this is also one thing which is very common that happens is uh, suppose you say i want to uh, start my own business and they're like wow he is must very good amazing uh, going to become billionaire and all of that um but the next moment they turn and they start using it as a vulnerability so once that starts pinching uh you might think of winding up your goal which is what we we have to protect our goals as well protecting your goals is protecting yourself uh because it's something very close to you and some people just tend to hide that, hide it yeah. um so one of the things your, yes so protecting your goals it's one of the things i realized while breaking it down while cutting it like 25 times right now is um you need to get to the root cause of why you have this goal the well, more you I ask why 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 you come to how attached you are to that emotion for achieving that goal and i think that's what counts yes absolutely uh the main driver if uh, most of you must have heard about uh, the famous author simon sinek he in his book says start with why um and there's an entire book written about it um as to how your purpose drives your actions and the emotions and things like that and it can go really deep to even to like a person coming out of the bomb blast can either be a donor or could be a terrorist uh so your why will really change how you're acting on so this is why i wanted to focus on january is the month um to really dive deep inside because nobody talks about that everyone uh talks about uh, arvind the, the the chartered accountant but nobody talks about how he became it and the success story behind it and what was the pain and what is the emotion which drove him to work so hard uh, or to become the president right now uh, this nobody talks about the back story so while goal setting is the tip of the iceberg there's a lot going below which we need to focus on and i want to focus only on the down part the up part will just anyone can do it. it will just happen naturally so this is what uh, i was anyways coming to that purpose is going to be very strong uh, and most of your answer of your purpose will come in your emotion itself because it will make me joyful it will make my family happy it will make mom proud it will make my dad uh, you know talk to his friends very proudly or um, have a status in the society uh, it could be the minutest things trust me because people think i'm cool um it could be the smile a slightest things and then you know um, have you ever heard a teenage talk teenager talk and think how stupid that person is uh <laughs> and you're like how how are you thinking like this <laughs> but for that person the thought process is driving the way the person is wearing talking chewing a twing gum spitting on the road or uh, having cigarettes lot of actions so i think a teenager is a very nice person that you know you we need to all um, kind of focus on and the last one is of course be flexible life happens to us right your goals will get knocked off but what i really like um and this is a borrow technique like all of this is borrow techniques because none of this is my formulated my coaches have taught me this it has worked for me i am passing this knowledge on we understand riya bansali does not patent all of this if you become very confident with your goals please take a session for ca institute um, for india right but one of the things that i would really like to credit brendan butcher he's also a coach is he says uh, um it's not working your career goal is not working um, and it's not that like you've given up on it it's just that you don't find the time because you know um, maybe something else takes it takes priority and something very amazing uh, hopefully takes priority um, so what you do is you always create a bucket list okay you all have bucket list for traveling keep a bucket list of wishes and say okay i'm picking this idea um, of becoming a ceo not this year i'll just put it in the bucket list we'll review in 2021 december what to do with this goal whether to put it in 2022 or maybe 2023 let there always be a bucket and just keep reviewing oh you know do you want to pick something from the bucket do you want to pick this goal do you want to pick that goal so you kind of pick it and put it in this year and if it's not working out at any point of time drop it back so i think that's one of that's also showing flexibility to yourself and also kind of relieving you that okay these projects are not going to happen 
okay in corona lot of us have struggled off our travel goals okay this meeting could have been physical but it's not possible so we did strike off a lot of things so keep experimenting with your bucket um as to what you can do oh that's great some people have spoken about bucket list already so these are um, the overall scenario that i wanted to kind of explain in board setting i hope um, uh, like arvind uh, most of you have kind of worked up uh, you know with me um, i could see manju i could see so many other people i can't hear name um, contributing to the chat uh, is there any question is mostly what i would like to ask in, in the chat box or just come live and then you know whatever you feel like because this was just a brief overview uh each of the aspect that we have uh touched upon today could in day um you know get into a very big discussion so you have to tell me what is a problem area for you may not be a problem area for me may not be a problem area for arvin um and so many people who are there everyone's problem is different motivation that is around habits okay motivation um uh, get your emotion and your visualization strong why you want to do it start with that why question dive into the emotion where you are feeling it try to enhance that emotion and create habits around it now habit itself can take one or two sessions so um if you are interested and if i think arvind is ready what i was thinking um see study say that february by february most of us will have our goals in the dustbin but i really don't want that so which is why uh, we can have a workshop for all fridays of this month um if arvind you are okay with it uh, for slab for everyone else i don't know how if there are slab members only um how to maintain self discipline it's going to be around um, habits and motivation yes uh self discipline is basically see it's not only being hard on yourself it's also like i said removing obstacles um quick example if you plan to read a book before you sleep every night or if you have a goal of reading a book one book a month and the best time that is suitable for you is either morning once you wake up or evening before you go to sleep if your book lies in the drawing room on a shelf you're less likely to pick it up unless and it's easier to pick it up if it's on your bed side so like that shifting things and creating triggers in your environment to uh, kind of instigating your action so it's not only about doing 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 it's also about how you do it and how do you reach to do what you're doing um if i'm making sense so just placing things closer to you removing things which are not good kind of working on that area do we have any other questions um we are happy to have those workshops so what i could do is at the end of the session i could uh, ask our general secretary to send out an email right. with your email address in it and everyone who's interested can get back to us uh, to our general secretary Yes. to that email address and uh, given their uh, intention if by the end of the session once you are done with the q and a if you can just uh, tell us what the overview of that workshop would be um, what are the yes. benefits the learning objectives and uh, the cost for the workshop um happy to take it forward right so the overview um i think i've already given it to you kind of right now it's almost like 50% done but i if you realize i just touched on few things right here and there here and there yeah on the five yes so now what's going to happen is uh if i'm sure people only from who have attended till now are going to enroll so what you're going to do is you are going to work on once once is uh, suppose i'm assuming five people are registered okay so five people i am going to give you a task that finish writing your goals share the goals with me because it's going to be confidential um and what you're going to do is you're going to keep in touch with me almost on a every uh, second day basis not every day but every second day basis um you're going to be assigned a buddy because that's going to be your accountability partner if you're comfortable with that person or we're going to switch 
because you have to take care of each other and then become independent all right 10 people cannot rely on me but every second person can rely on the other person and of course experience of different people will help we might also consider switching buddies but that's an option uh, to be decided on a day, later date what ha- will happen is the number of people who attend will get personalized attention as to if the goals are happening or no see the thing is uh, this is a very fantastic workshop uh, everyone's motivated today and maybe till tomorrow 12 o'clock uh, 12 pm but after lunch all the <laughs> goals are going to go somewhere or the other to make sure you're getting into action you're forming those and following it up because the thing is i want to see everyone at least till february becoming like reading their goals there's a lot of affirmations that need to be done a lot of self beliefs that needs to be instilled uh, every arvin's problems are going to be very different than my problems is going to be very different from uh, somebody else's problem a person from a student to a professional are going to have very varied experiences so we're going to address that every friday we meet okay that is the session but i would actually like to call it a meet and then we discuss what worked what didn't work and what you can do in the following week to make it work so going very specific to the person and this was a general session today but i would definitely open up everyone on a personal note to see if you are actually following it because this is not some uh, i don't know fun workshop where you know uh, i'm just talking and then you're thinking about something else i'm going to make sure the action is done okay and at least i want 70% uh pass result sort of a thing and you need to be satisfied um that you're able to follow those steps you might have different difficult problems um, and then we have to solve it and after a month you become independent and then you continue and hopefully you don't have to see me again that's the motive so four fridays i think uh, i was just checking my calendar today we have four fridays in this five fridays one is already gone so with four fridays i'm uh, assuming we meet for 60 to 90 minutes on every friday uh and you know because it's a little relaxed for everyone so it's a good time to kind of talk to everyone for me uh, and also gives me a good time to review during the week uh and give tasks accordingly there are going to be tasks by the way which you have to do very easy ones but basically self reflection and uh, the charge is 20 bd that's it for slam um uh, it's all there is i hope uh, i'm hoping at least of 5 to 6 registration the less number of people at least i'm going for minimum 5 to 6 uh the more personalized attention you get so we can really work on your goals i think that's uh, that's a nominal charge for something which we can do right at the start of the year just to make sure that that consistency is there throughout so yes. um i'll definitely <laughs> give a shout out to the members and to all the participants here yes yes that would be a uh, great any more questions um uh, i have my youtube channel where this video is going to be uploaded or uh, i think arvind can share it with all of you so please keep reviewing it in case i'm not able to come into the workshop um uh i mean it's really nice to see people uh, achieving their goals and i also have my youtube channel uh, riya binsali where these tips are going to be there so just feel free to go over there or connect with me on instagram or anywhere else um, it'll be very nice to see you elsewhere outside the lab also yes arvin back to you you're on mute arvin sorry yes well thank you for that session um if anyone wants to ask uh, questions you have the flow you always had the flow this evening um, anything specific what i can tell you from personal experience uh, to everyone who's attending today is uh, setting goals in january is a bit of a pain because your mind is already set to believe that this is really the start of the year whereas <laughs> it's it's actually just a month it's just a day this if someone had set it in a different way this could have been the middle of august um what i want to say is 
if you want to really set a goal, I started yoga two years ago. I started it two weeks before the end of December. Um, what I realized was starting something not in Jan is awesome because you will keep that consistency in Jan and you will continue it. Two years ago, I started, I do yoga thrice weekly. Um, also February, starting a goal, like if, if you were to attend the workshop with Ria and um, you know, set your goals in that, um, in that phase over the course of four weeks, you would have something ready perhaps to start with in the beginning of February. And I think that's, that's a win for everyone because anything you start not in January, it'll be consistent. Just believe in this and go ahead. Just comments from my side. Um, if there's any questions, And I think people are kind of leaving. Uh, no questions that I've seen. Right, nothing to you directly. Arvind, I have a question. Welcome. Hi, Sampat. Welcome. Sampat is joining us from Sri Lanka, and uh, he was one wow. of our members. Yeah, he's uh, he was one of our members earlier, part of the Exco. Welcome, Sampat. Tell me. Yeah, is it really necessary to have accountability partner? Uh, it's not compulsory if you're headstrong. A uh, lot of people don't have it. But I'm just uh, saying for a general, if you take a bell-shaped curve for a general public, uh, especially for this size, uh, I think about 40 people. Uh, for 40 people, I think 90% would always depend on someone pushing them. Uh, it's not... Uh, if And more than that, more than having or not having, you know, uh, sometimes you would be very headstrong, but sometimes you would just bounce your idea and you would be laughed at. So my point for that was also protect your goals. Besides having a person, just protect your goals to keep them safe. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks for your question. Ah, uh, someone has gone through my uh, uh, seven learnings. Not to network, but to connect. How? Okay. Uh, 2020 was a massively different year for all of us. But for me, I think I uh, I was using uh, social media a lot. Uh, I, I, I'm on Instagram and LinkedIn and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, Nadir has asked this question. So what is, uh, what I did was genuinely I used to drop in messages very customized and very heartfelt so that would always trigger a question see you can always realize a spam from a genuine mail right in your email box how many can't it, it you just your eyes will just scroll up to down and you know what's a spam and what's a forwarded message and what's a genuinely typed message so when you're connecting heart to heart and you're connecting genuinely from your interests okay if i really like um, the kind of background uh, Farhaz had, Farooq had put, I, I just, just said, uh, it's so amazing. You know, it's just something, it was just, yeah, see, exactly, look at that, and look at the happy face. Um, so you just feel that, okay? But when you try to network, to gain something out of it, okay? When, the common mistake that I believe that people do is, he's a CEO, let me go and ask him for a job. But I would rather go with, okay, are we connecting on something similar? Maybe we're connecting on yoga or maybe we're connecting on meditation. Let's try and touch that topic. And then if you really feel that the person resonates with you, that's when work starts. And even if work doesn't start, you know, it's not going to disappoint you because you're going to connect with endless number of possibilities and a new human connection, which I think 2020 required. So uh, that was my learning on don't network connect because networking is very mechanical um connection is human that's what i feel it was good to know that somebody is reading uh, my learnings thank you nadir felt very special we have a lot of professionals here not just from slab but from across bahrain and uh, some personal contacts of mine um, oh really? Yeah. Okay. yeah, I thought it was lab. Okay. Uh, it is. It is. It is. But I've I've reached out to uh, many people because I feel this is the need of the hour. Given, see, actually, what has happened is given COVID, mm -hmm. everyone's goals are thrown out the window. 
everyone is basically working out on priorities now yes. looking to survive basically so goals is in maslow's hierarchy goals are something your basic needs need to be met and um, and i feel this is this is coming just at the right time you know we we've we've seen what 2020 has to offer 2021 can't be worse <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, as long as you understand that you need to move through change. Yes. Absolutely. But yeah, I agree with Kai. Yeah, nature should survive. That's one thing. Um, if we keep all that as part of our goals also and nurture nature, then that would add to everything else. So with that, uh, Everyone, ladies and gents, we will come to a close. I want to take this opportunity to thank um, Ria for her session today. Uh, we're thank getting you. some good messages <laughs> coming through. Yeah, lovely messages pouring in. Uh, so happy I could spend time with you all. Um, I really like my life seminars. So thank you. Right. Um, it was nice having you here. Um, I want to thank everyone who. Um, signed up today we did not have any variations there was just it was plus five minus five just that it kept floating between that um Rhea, just before we close today's session um yes. slab has a little um token of appreciation that we would like to share with you now i'm not sure if this is clear but we got you a nice crystal um a pearl uh, thingy <laughs> it reads so um yeah, it reads Award of Appreciation presented to Ria Bansali, um, founder and CEO of Riog, for presenting a session titled Tackle 2021 Goal Setting today. Oh, wow. I'm so happy I wish I could hold it. <laughs> but um, <soon> I... <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, we will give it to you. It's just that, um, you know, uh, we will arrange a visit, social distancing. We give one to all our presenters. It's a little token of our gratitude for sharing your wisdom with us. So, thank you. Pleasure was mine. Um, there's so many messages coming in. That's also very yeah. overwhelming. Um, yeah. Somebody shared it to me directly. Please share the details of the upcoming workshop. Uh, yeah. uh, can I just? I, I hope they're all slap people, and you. If they're not slap people, you will also send it to them, right? I'm just assuming. yes. So uh, Zoom has this option where you have the list of all your participants. So what I would do yeah. is I would um, send an email out to you. And I would BCC everyone uh, just so that they have access to your email and they can. And perhaps uh, myself or our general secretary will act as an intermediary in between in case there's someone who needs additional guidance. But yes. other than that, uh, we can wrap up today. Thank you, thank you so you, much. Sanjeeva, Kayan. Thank you for reaching out to me. Um, for all those of you who need to know, we just had a casual conversation and uh, Arvind reached out to me and I was like, yeah, let's do this. And then I was pushing the dates, but um, he made the numbers count. And I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arvind. Thank you, your team. I'm sure it's not only you, your entire expom is putting the effort. Yes, um, definitely. My um, much appreciation to them, uh, Sanjeeva especially, Sanjeeva Fernando. Um, I'd like to thank all other members of Exco for all their support. Um, so we can wrap up uh, if there's nothing else to be discussed we can close up uh. yes see you soon hopefully on the workshops bye bye definitely